Andre. Hey, my name is Daniel. Today we're going to talk about our refugee house consisting of different materials that we made available in our, available in our house. So we made our project starting with a skeleton made out of bamboo or wood, covered it with cardboard. <laughs> Wait, used glue, used glue, super super glue, and covered it with jute. We brushed it with plaster of Paris, waited for it to dry, we, and then we smoothed it out so it can be like smooth. So we made window frames out of popsicle sticks, brushed it with paint, color brown, and we cut pieces of plastic and sticked it there with the window frame to resemble a window. We have two uh, functions in the house working functions, a uh, sliding window which can open and close and a door in the door. So we made tiny furniture that we made including my parents and myself and my brother so we can add more details to the house not just the exterior but also the interior. So um, the, challenges, the challenge there was to make the structure balanced because if it was slanting we wouldn't be able to balance the furniture that we made specifically for the interior part of the house. The real challenge was handling the ruler because we struggled trying to make it perfect. Overall, was it expensive to make? Mm -hmm. Here from grammar school, year 9. So today we have a refugee house. We made this by uh, wood and bamboo, any type of wood material. And after the skeleton, we covered it with cardboard. These are our handmade solar panels that we made out of cardboard. And I'm going to show you the interior of the house. This is our furniture, specifically made for this project. Bunk beds that we made out of sticks. And we used, we, we made these mattresses out of the same material with this one and we just covered it with a piece of cloth along with the pillow. So we're going to take a closer look of how we built these chairs. Actually, these are coin-sized chairs that we used to measure with coins and we made this out of this material. It's just like a sample for wallpapers. So here we have our light switch that we made out of using these and connecting the light LEDs in here and here we're going to switch it on. All of these handmade furnitures, this helps us put together our refugee house. 